There is a splashy new show opening on Broadway this coming Sunday. It's called Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and it's based on the 1994 Academy Award-winning cult movie. It's got divas and drag queens, and it also has the backing of the one and only Bette Midler, who is one of the show's producers. Congratulations. Thank you very much. A new hat for you to wear. Yeah, yeah. No, how do you, how'd you get involved with it? I met the man who was actually the lead producer, Jimmy Niederlander. I met him at a, at a Robin Williams show, and he said, I, I told him I was going to London. He said, well, if you're in London, see my new show, which is Priscilla Queen of the Desert. I said, oh, I heard about it. I'll go. So I went, and it was one of the most extraordinary experiences I've ever had in the theater. People were dancing in the aisles, screaming, carrying on, the costumes, the sets, the acting, everything. Tony Sheldon, he was there, too. It was fantastic. And I said, oh, my God, I really loved it. And then afterwards, he said, would you like, we're bringing it to America. Can you, would you like to come on board? And I said, Jesus, yeah. It just seems like such a natural fit. We were just watching the rehearsals this morning between the music and the costumes yeah. and the energy. I mean, I this, is what I I've seen, this is what I've seen in your shows throughout the years. Well, yeah, but I mean, I've, I've had clothes, but I've never had clothes like this. I wish. Let me if talk. Only. Here are the songs that were just a few of them. It's Raining Men, Don't yeah. Leave Me This Way, I Say a Little yeah. Prayer, Shake Your Groove Thing. They yeah, bring yeah. back some memories oh, for fantastic. you. fantastic. So, totally. Well, you know, that, that's, that's sort of my era, you know. I mean, the disco music and so, so, very, kind of soft rock and roll. But what about jitters for opening night? It is coming up I Sunday. I have no jitters. None? I am, no, I have so, total confidence in this cast, in this uh, organization, in the crew, everyone. They're top drawer. I mean, they're, everybody is great. I mean, Will is great. Tony is great. Nick Adams, they're all great, but the little parts are all sensational too. And a lot of these kids play three and four parts, and every and they're all wonderful. All right, I mean, it's really great. It's opening it. Sunday. You're going to be on a little oh, later yeah. in the fourth hour. Let me lead you off, and let's get a performance from the cast of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Hey. At first I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong And I grew strong And I learned how to get along So now you're back from outer space I just walked in to find you here with that that stupid life, I should have made you leave it here. If I'd have known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Just turn around now. Cause you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me? 
Priscilla, queen of the desert, thank you folks very much. Bette Midler, thank you. The show opens Sunday, March 20th at the Palace Theater, and the folks will be back with another performance in our next hour. I say a little And that's the cast of the new musical Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, based on the 1994 movie opening on Broadway this Sunday. Songs already big hits, one-hit wonders from the 70s and 80s that will have you wanting to put on your platform shoes and disco dance. We're going to get one more song from the cast in just a few minutes. Coming up, we'll talk more with Bette Midler, and we'll see the amazing results of this morning's ambush makeovers. But first, we've got another number from the Broadway play Bette's producing, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. That'll take us to your local news and weather. Have a great day. <laughs> Here we go. Many times I've tried to tell you, many times I've cried alone. Wanna leave you really? I've invested too much time to give you a bad easy to the doubts that complicate your mind. We belong to the light, we belong to the thunder, we belong to the sound of the world. When I don't know what to say Maybe I just wouldn't know what to do with my strength anyway <laughs> Have we become a habit? Do we distort the facts? Now there's no looking forward Now there's no turning back When we say we belong to the light We belong to the light We have a, a great show that you're actually yes. hosting today because we have the one, the only Bette, Bette Midler. Midler in the house. She's sitting over there at this table. You guys, she is producing this great Broadway show called Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Now, the thing that makes this thing so terrific, it's great on so many levels, but it's like, listen, just listen, first of all. Okay, so just so you know, if you go see this Broadway show, you will know the words to every single song. There you will sing be, along, you'll be dancing in the aisles. You'll be tempted to sing full voice, and I felt bad for all the people sitting around me at the show because they were totally turned off to my singing, but I didn't care because the songs they sing, like uh, Say a Little Prayer for You, mm. um, all those, all all those great classics. songs. Yeah. And what I came to learn about you, Mr. Um, Jack of All Trades, is a show business icon and now the legendary singer, entertainer, and actress can add producer to her resume. That's because she's involved in a colorful, very colorful new show opening on Broadway this Sunday. It is called Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the Musical. The cast performed on the plaza earlier today, and as you can see, the show is filled with outrageous costumes, over-the-top production numbers, and songs from the 70s and 80s. And best of all, it has Bette Midler behind it. Well, hello, Bette. Hello. All right, this show, I went on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and I sat in the, I wasn't sure what to expect. 
I have to tell you, it felt like a mini concert because mm. everywhere you looked around the around the uh, theater, everyone was singing full voice. What do you, what experience do you want people to walk away with? From I, just, this? I want them to have a great evening in the theater. I think it's highly, highly entertaining. It's way over the top. It's uh, outrageous. The clothes are fantastic. The performances are out of this world. Everybody in the cast is sensational, and it has very familiar songs. You know, I mean, it's uh, songs from I hate to say a certain generation. Yeah. But the songs that are really lively and upbeat, and so you leave the theater feeling great, which is wonderful. And, and, and it's touching too. Mantle. You know, it has a it has a very kind of wonderful story at the bot at the heart of it about a guy who's on his way to find to see his the son that he has known he doesn't really know to get to know his son. And so wow. there's a lot, a lot of kind of a wholesome quality to it, even though it's about people who are basically on the outside <laughs> yeah, at this time. Great. Yeah. Uh -huh. And producers a new mantle for you. How was that? Well, you know, Broadway I always produce. I always produce my own shows, right. and so this is a little bit of a new thing for me. But I really feel like I stepped in a pile of great, <laughs> big, you know, of flowers because this was a hit in hi Sydney. It yeah. was a huge hit in London, and when I saw it, I recognized immediately the people were going to love it here. So they, the re only reason they asked me on was, you know, they wanted to know, well, where would you trim? What would you do? Would you make it a little mm -hmm. more American? What would you blah blah blah? And so I, I gave notes and everything. I've seen it many, many times, and I've said. What I have to say, but I think all in all, everybody working on it is so devoted uh -huh. to it and so and believes in it so much. I really have a lot of confidence in it. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the movie from yes. from back in the day. Yeah. Well, those people who know the movie very well, when they look at this, how will it compare? I think it's um, well. First of all, there's much more music yeah. in it, and, and secondly, it's not it's not quite. I, it's got a little more heart than the other one. Yeah. It's got actually considerable more heart. Yeah. Because the, the Broadway audience, the typical Broadway audience, wants, wants to be able to, you know, have a be moved and have laughs and have tears, a little bit of everything when they pay that high ticket right. price. So when, I think they've managed to do it all. When, you, when you're watching this, I know you've been watching it from the audience, do you want to just pop up on stage? Because this is so you. I'm That's so, what I can, right? It's all I can do to keep, to keep myself in my seat. I sometimes, I, I've seen it so many times now, I know where I could, I know where I could slide <laughs> myself in. Yeah. I know which costumes would fit me. And speaking about speaking about costumes, Beth, the costume changes on this show will blow your mind. I gotta be honest, I'm not usually into that stuff. I don't know. The things that they get into and out of it like it's that. Extraordinary. How many are there? Are there it's oh there's hundreds. Hundreds of hundreds costume of changes. costumes. And the one of the one of the charming things about this uh, what, about this show is that the chorus, uh, the, the 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 small players play many, many parts. Yeah. And one of the joys after you've seen it 14, 15 times is to see who's going around playing all these yeah. different parts. And they're all really, really brilliant in each part that they play and so the, the three leads are always supported by this tremendous cast it's really great uh -huh. I, I think it's a real tour de force who's uh -huh. the biggest diva amongst all these the, I don't think they have, there's no attitude in this group I think I'm the biggest wow. diva <laughs> great. there's great. no attitude they really like each other they seem to be very familial they seem to really get along great with each other I mean who knows what's gonna happen once the once the um, the reviews are in and the, it's a, either a hit or it's not a hit well I mean it, I, I think it's, it's I think that's a, a real shot if you yeah. are joyful and I have to say at the end people were this is how I always judge a show. From the time that the show was over to the second it takes for people to stand up, it was instantaneous. Yeah. Like everyone jumped up and then it became like a little dance party. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go and just yeah. kick your heels up and enjoy yourself, I think I really do it's think a place so. to. I think so. Bet I good think luck so. and good luck on Thank opening you. night. We can't I'm very wait. Excited. We wish you good reviews. Thank yes. you.